Have you ever considered investing in physical gold and silver? In the grand scheme of investing, gold and silver are often viewed as the bedrock, the foundation, the cornerstone if you will. They're tangible, they're beautiful, and they hold an intrinsic value that has stood the test of time. These precious metals have been coveted for thousands of years, not just for their luster, but for their role as a reliable store of value. Our world is steeped in uncertainty, with markets rising and falling like a tempestuous sea. Yet, amidst the chaos, gold and silver remain relatively stable, exuding a sense of security and solidity that is hard to match. In the year 2024, the allure of these precious metals is stronger than ever. With the global economy in a state of flux, many are turning their gaze towards these shiny safe havens, considering them as viable options for investment. But why gold and silver? Why not diamonds or platinum or the myriad of other precious materials out there? Well, gold and silver hold a special place in our world. They've been used as currency, they're essential in various industries, and they're finite in quantity, which gives them an inherent value that cannot be undermined by inflation or economic downturns. In this video, we're taking a deep dive into the intriguing world of precious metals. We'll explore the basics of investing in gold and silver, the benefits, the risks, and how to get started. We'll also discuss why in this day and age, investing in physical gold and silver could be a smart move. Whether you're a seasoned investor looking to diversify your portfolio or a novice dipping your toes in the investing pool, this video is sure to shed light on the myriad of possibilities that gold and silver present. So, are you ready to embark on this glittering journey? Then buckle up, because we're about to delve deeper into the fascinating world of precious metals. Now, let's delve deeper into the fascinating world of precious metals. Gold and silver have been coveted commodities for centuries, but why should you invest in them? Well, let's break it down. Gold and silver are more than just shiny trinkets. They hold intrinsic value, this intrinsic value is not subject to devaluation by inflation or the whims of government policy. Essentially, these precious metals carry a timeless value that paper money simply can't match. Now you might be wondering, what's this about a hedge against inflation? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Inflation is the rise in the price of goods and services over time. When inflation occurs, the value of currency drops because it can't buy as much as it could before. Here's where gold and silver come into play. As the value of money decreases, the value of gold and silver tends to rise. So by investing in these precious metals, you're protecting your wealth from the eroding effects of inflation. But it's not just about protection. Gold and silver also offer potential for price appreciation. Over the long term, the demand for gold and silver tends to increase, especially during periods of economic uncertainty. This increased demand often leads to higher prices, presenting a potential profit opportunity for investors. There's something else to consider. Gold and silver are tangible assets. You can hold them in your hand, store them in your home, or keep them in a safe deposit box. There's a certain peace of mind that comes from knowing your wealth is stored in a physical form, not just numbers on a screen. Lastly, gold and silver are finite resources. There's only so much of them in the world. As these supplies diminish, the laws of supply and demand suggest that their value will likely increase. So, to sum it all up, gold and silver offer intrinsic value, act as a hedge against inflation, have potential for price appreciation, are tangible assets, and are finite resources with potential for increased value. As you can see, gold and silver offer unique benefits as investment options. Investing in gold and silver can offer a variety of benefits, and today we'll take a detailed exploration into the benefits of investing in these precious metals. Let's dive right in with one of the main benefits, portfolio diversification. Investment portfolios, much like ecosystems, thrive on diversity. When you invest in a range of assets, you spread out your risk, and precious metals like gold and silver can play a crucial role in that diversification. They have historically shown a low correlation with other major asset classes like stocks and bonds. This means that even when the stock market is having a rough ride, gold and silver may perform differently potentially offering a safety net for your investments. Another key benefit of investing in physical gold and silver is protection against currency devaluation. Paper money, as we know, is subject to inflation. Over time, the purchasing power of money tends to decrease, meaning your dollar or pound buys less than it used to. On the other hand, precious metals like gold and silver have maintained their value over the long term. 
they are tangible assets that do not rely on a government's promise to pay, making them a hedge against inflation and currency devaluation. So when you hold physical gold or silver, you're holding a store of wealth that has stood the test of time. Now let's talk about potential for long-term growth. Gold and silver are finite resources. There's only so much of them in the world, and they're getting harder and more expensive to extract. This scarcity can drive up their value over the long term. Historically, gold and silver prices have seen a general upward trend. While there are certainly peaks and troughs and past performance is no guarantee of future results, the long-term outlook for precious metals is often positive, largely due to their enduring demand and limited supply. Moreover, physical gold and silver can be a safe haven in times of economic uncertainty. When economic storms are brewing and markets are volatile, investors often turn to gold and silver. These precious metals are seen as a safe store of value that can weather economic downturns. They have been used as a form of wealth preservation for thousands of years, and that reputation still stands today. Investing in physical gold and silver also gives you direct ownership. Unlike stocks or bonds, where you own a piece of a company or a promise from a government, with physical gold and silver, you own a tangible asset. You can hold it in your hand, store it in a safe, or keep it in a vault. This direct ownership gives you full control over your investment, and let's not forget the joy of collecting. For many people, part of the appeal of investing in physical gold and silver is the pleasure of owning beautiful coins or bars. Each piece has its own story, its own history, and owning them can be a rewarding experience in itself. Lastly, physical gold and silver are accessible to most investors. Whether you have a lot to invest or just a little, you can start investing in gold and silver. There's no minimum investment amount, and you can buy a single coin or a small bar to start your precious metals journey. From diversification to protection against economic downturns, gold and silver can be powerful tools in your investment arsenal. They offer a unique combination of benefits that can help safeguard your wealth, grow your investment over time, and even bring a bit of joy to your investment journey. Investing in physical gold and silver is not just about financial gains. It's about securing a piece of history, a tangible asset that has stood the test of time, and an investment that can bring a unique sense of satisfaction. So whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out, consider the benefits of adding gold and silver to your portfolio. While gold and silver can offer significant benefits, they also come with their own set of risks. Let's delve into the realm of uncertainty and discuss the potential pitfalls of investing in physical gold and silver. It's crucial to be aware of these risks so that you can make an informed decision about your investment strategy. The first risk we'll discuss is price volatility. This is a term that you'll often hear in the world of investments, and it essentially means that the price of an asset can fluctuously increase or decrease for a set of given set of returns. Gold and silver are no strangers to this phenomenon. Their prices are influenced by various factors including global economic conditions, interest rates and inflation. If these factors are unfavorable, the price of gold and silver can take a nosedive, potentially leading to significant losses. It's important to remember that while these precious metals have historically retained their value over the long term, their short-term price movements can be quite unpredictable. Moving on, the next risk is related to storage and insurance. When you invest in physical gold and silver, you're not just buying a financial asset. You're buying a physical object that needs to be stored and protected. This can add to the overall cost of your investment. You'll need to secure a safe place to store your precious metals, which could mean renting a safety deposit box or purchasing a home safe. Additionally, you may choose to insure your gold and silver, which is another added expense. These costs can eat into your potential returns, so it's vital to factor them into your investment calculations. Now, we come to a risk that's unique to physical assets, the potential for theft. When you own physical gold and silver, there's always a risk that these assets could be stolen. This is why it's crucial to have robust security measures in place. However, even with the best security systems, the risk of theft can never be completely eliminated. This is something you'll need to consider when deciding whether to invest in physical gold and silver. There's also the risk of liquidity. While gold and silver are generally considered liquid assets because they can be converted into cash relatively easily, selling physical gold and silver can sometimes be a more complex process. You'll need to find a buyer who's willing to pay a fair price, which isn't always easy, especially in a hurry. 
This could potentially limit your ability to quickly access your investment if you need cash in a pinch. Lastly, let's talk about the risk of economic deflation. In a deflationary environment, the price of goods and services decreases. When this happens, the relative value of gold and silver can also decrease. This is because people often invest in these metals as a hedge against inflation. In times of deflation, this hedge becomes less valuable, which can lead to a decrease in the price of gold and silver. In conclusion, while investing in physical gold and silver can provide a hedge against inflation, diversification of your portfolio, and a tangible asset that has stood the test of time, it also comes with its own set of risks. These include price volatility, storage and insurance costs, the potential for theft, liquidity issues, and the risk of economic deflation. It's crucial to weigh these risks against the potential rewards before deciding to invest in physical gold and silver. It's also recommended to consult with a financial advisor to ensure that investing in these precious metals aligns with your overall financial goals and risk tolerance. Despite these risks, many investors find that the potential rewards of investing in gold and silver outweigh the potential downsides. But remember, as with any investment, it's essential to do your research and make informed decisions. Now that you understand the benefits and risks of investing in gold and silver, you might be wondering how to get started. Well, in the world of precious metals, getting started is often the biggest hurdle. But fear not, because we're going to walk you through it, step by step. Let's begin with the first step, deciding what form of gold and silver you want to invest in. There are various forms to choose from, such as coins, bars, or rounds. Coins have a higher premium because they're often considered collectibles, while bars and rounds are more straightforward investments. Your choice will depend on your personal preferences, investment goals, and the amount of capital you're willing to invest. Once you've decided on the form, the next step is to find a reputable dealer. This is crucial because you want to ensure that you're buying genuine gold and silver, not counterfeit. Do your research. Look for dealers with positive reviews, industry affiliations, and transparent pricing. Next, you need to understand the pricing of gold and silver. The price of these precious metals fluctuates based on market conditions, much like stocks and bonds. The price you'll pay for physical gold and silver is generally the spot price plus a premium, which covers the cost of minting and distributing the product. Always compare prices among different dealers to ensure you're getting the best deal. After you've found a reputable dealer and understood the pricing, it's time to make your purchase. This is usually a straightforward process. You select the product you want to buy, add it to your cart and check out. Most dealers accept various payment methods, including bank transfers, credit cards, and even cryptocurrencies. Now that you've purchased your gold and silver, the next step is to decide where to store it. There are several options here. You can store it at home in a safe or hidden location. This gives you immediate access to your investment, but it also comes with risks, such as theft or damage. Another option is to use a bank safe deposit box. While this is a relatively secure option, it's worth noting that the contents of safe deposit boxes are not insured by the bank or the federal government. This means if something happens to the bank, your investment could be at risk. The third option is to use a professional storage service, also known as a depository. These are highly secure facilities, specifically designed for storing precious metals. They often offer insurance, which can give you peace of mind. Once you've decided on a storage option, the final step is to insure your gold and silver. This is an important step because it protects your investment in the event of loss or damage. If you're storing your precious metals at home, you may be able to add them to your homeowner's insurance policy. If you're using a bank safe deposit box or a depository, you'll need to purchase separate insurance. As you embark on your gold and silver investing journey, remember that it's a long-term commitment. The value of these precious metals tends to increase over time, so patience is key. Also keep in mind that diversification is crucial in any investment portfolio. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Instead, consider gold and silver as part of a diversified investment strategy. And there you have it. A step-by-step -step guide on how to start investing in physical gold and silver. We've covered how to buy gold and silver, where to store it, and how to insure it. Remember, investing in gold and silver is not just about making a quick profit. It's about preserving wealth, diversifying your portfolio, and hedging against economic uncertainty. With these steps, you're well on your way to becoming a savvy gold and silver investor.
We've covered a lot of ground today, from the basics of gold and silver investing to the benefits and risks involved. We delved into the intriguing world of precious metals, explored how they serve as a hedge against inflation and how they can diversify your investment portfolio. We also navigated the potential pitfalls, the importance of due diligence, and the exciting journey of starting your investment in physical gold and silver. Let's take a quick stroll down memory lane. We started off by setting the stage in the fascinating world of precious metals. Gold and silver aren't just shiny objects that make beautiful jewelry. They are globally recognized stores of value, treated as safe havens in times of economic uncertainty. Then we moved on to the basics of investing in gold and silver. It's not just about buying low and selling high, but understanding the market dynamics, the factors that influence the prices of these precious metals and the various forms in which you can invest from bullion bars to coins. Next, we highlighted the numerous benefits of investing in physical gold and silver. These precious metals have stood the test of time, maintaining their value over centuries. They're tangible assets you can hold in your hand, not just numbers on a screen. They offer protection against inflation and currency fluctuations, and they can provide a safety net in times of economic turmoil. Their scarcity and enduring appeal add to their allure as an investment. Of course, no investment is without its risks, and we didn't shy away from discussing these. The price of gold and silver can be volatile, influenced by a variety of factors from geopolitical tensions to shifts in supply and demand. It's essential to be aware of these risks and to invest wisely, never more than you can afford to lose. Finally, we walked you through the process of starting your investment in physical gold and silver. From choosing a reputable dealer, understanding the costs involved, to storing your precious metals securely, we covered it all. We emphasized the importance of doing your homework, asking the right questions and making informed decisions. So here we are, at the end of our journey, but perhaps at the beginning of yours. Investing in physical gold and silver can be a rewarding endeavor, both financially and personally. It brings you closer to a timeless tradition, a connection to the past, and a stake in the future. But remember, every investment journey is unique. Your decisions should reflect your financial goals, risk tolerance, and personal interests. And while we've provided a wealth of information today, continue to educate yourself, stay updated on market trends, and consult with financial advisors. If you're ready to diversify your portfolio and protect your wealth, consider investing in gold and silver. It's more than an investment. It's a statement of belief in the enduring value of precious metals. It's a step towards financial independence and a safeguard against economic uncertainties. And as you embark on this journey, remember that we're here to guide you. We'll continue to provide insightful content covering a range of investment topics. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Fulldose for more investment insights. Investing in precious metals could be the golden opportunity you've been waiting for. So why wait? Start exploring, start investing, and start shaping your financial future. Until next time, happy investing.